is from Wax Poetics. It's by Wonderland from the Netherlands. Uh, this was the site of the day on April 5th, 2021. So it was the site of the day uh, very recently. Was that two days ago? From when we're recording this. Um, these are some screenshots. So we can, you can, we can go on the actual website too, um, which is what I'll do real quick. I'll open that tab up and we can talk through it. Um, Mustafa, have you ever heard of awards? Are you familiar with this at all? Is this new to you? Yeah, I, I actually spoke at one of the events um, just before lockdown hit. Like it, it was two thousand. Uh, yeah, it's twenty twenty, like February, when they had their event in um, Amsterdam. Uh, so that was that was the last proper travel I went to. Yeah, I know of awards, and I've also written a couple of books. Um, then we write. We wrote an article together um, to get right for one of their books. It's been so long. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we authored yeah. something. <laughs> Yeah, no, we've worked uh, with them before. It's a really cool organization. Um, so this is the, the event was really fun. Uh, yeah, it's cool. What, what was the, What was the, your talk on again? That was like you know my my usual spiel of designing for speed, designing for friction. Um, but yeah, no, it was a really really cool audience. Uh, I like performing, as it were. Of, that's what I give talk in Europe because. They understand my sense of humor when i've tried to take it in other parts like to turkey i i died on stage <laughs> i think they wanted to throw tomatoes at me in turkey and these are like my, my kinsmen and um, they're like no nah, you're, you're rubbish we don't understand your humor um so yeah there you go yeah no i totally hear you um so <laughs> oh thanks <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm just being sarcastic. Um, so yeah, what what is Wax Poets? Do we um, is it no? So that, I was gonna, I just gonna say that. Um, so from the landing page, it looks like we're working with some sort of music publisher, mainly because we get hit with a paywall. Not my favorite user experience, but I'm also no. realistic that you know it's tough. Uh, it's tough for you know journalists to be able to turn a profit and pay their staff. So like I'm all for encouraging people to pay for high quality content but yeah, not a big absolutely. fan of throwing the paywall right when you uh land but well, this is the challenge of the web because it started off as every like tim's burn lee when he was doing his stuff he wanted to make everything for free this is the challenge not that the, the thing that has never been solved is how do you monetize for like professionals right like professional journalists professional musicians you know that's been the biggest ux challenge for everything um for writers, it's been the hardest forever because it's just, I don't know why it's like people expect it for free and they shouldn't, but yeah, I think we've been conditioned to get for free. That's why we hate paywalls. Yeah, no, I, I think that's, I think it's a necessary evil for lack of a better word. Like, I think it's something that, you know, that's where the, the, uh, internet's going. Another thing that I'm a big fan of that I've seen concept designs for is, uh, microtransactions. So rather than like paying for a subscription, if you like an article, imagine there's like a little money sign that's connected to whatever your digital wallet. And you yeah. can basically drop like 10 cents, five cents to a publisher or creator if they make good content. So think about it. Like, for example, if you had a YouTube account and you could put $10 credit on every time you upvoted or like, you know, thumbs up a video, that creator would get, you know, one cent or five cents or 10 cents, similar to what they do with streaming today but um, a little bit more, less friction, so creators and web, web uh, publishers can get, you know, easily monetize their content. But with all of that, let's dive in. <laughs> so um, Wax Poetics looks like it's a music thing. So I think part of this is we should figure out what it is right from the start. So it's a music pub this, oh, this is kind of cool. So this read the article is following my cursor around. And it's like turning the photo like negative, which I've actually never seen this before. Have you ever seen something like this? Yeah. <sighs> I'm going to be really harsh. Those crappy Photoshop filters, <laughs> which I really hate. And the thing is, I I hate um, scroll hijacking, like uh, mouse hijacking. It was cool in the flash days when you could do a custom cursor. But, yeah, because um, you can once you drop into this it, white box, it kind of transitions um, off. Uh, but in terms of yeah. site design, you know, strong hero image and uh, probably it's cool guy playing like I don't know what is that the trumpet. Uh, That's John Coltrane. Yeah, John Coltrane, yeah, yeah, famous, the 1960s famous musician. musician. 
I'm saying that as if I recognise him. I really don't. I'm just re- I'm, <laughs> I'm reading the actual name. Yeah, like, we'll check. Up, we'll check him out. We'll check out. Him out. Check <laughs> they have, they have I a podcast, so they're promoting their podcast. We'll have to check that out. <laughs> Maybe get them on Design Huddle. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a cool. It's a cool site. I mean, it's like for being a digital publisher, it's got definitely has a lot more. Uh, like personality than traditional like news sites visuals in you know they're going leaning heavily on this only really kind of highlighting um the articles they're really pushing you know, a handful they're um subscriptions so obviously that's a big business goal there's we're almost halfway down the first page and there's been three or four um different subscription buttons um and then there's actually gets into the articles it sounds like it seems like a really cool um actual yeah. Like idea it looks like they just wax poetics just kind of focus on it looks like old school um, yeah old, old school music it looks like yeah the look of things maybe predominantly black music i'm guessing because i think i saw marvin gay uh bob marley and obviously john coltrane so it looks like that kind of time period of music so obviously those the, the the photography there is always going to be a wonderful uh, and atmospheric so like there's an image of like bob marley in one of the articles um and so there's that the thing is it's almost you can always win when you have one of these be- mm-hmm. if you have these beautiful photographs um the challenge then becomes once you lead with these beautiful photographs is how you do the rest of the layout there's a lot of white lines which i don't even think is necessary like that's the things like in a sense using dividing lines is always a bit of a cop out because you can get away with like negative space it feels like they're afraid that people won't know that this is the header but it's like you don't have to you don't really need it i think it's like unnecessary detail um because most people will be focused on the image rather than thinking is this a button you know what I mean? it's like um but yeah i mean when, when you have these these kind of powerful images like you can be really simplistic with the layout because they do all the work yeah them. i i totally agree i i think the the line is a little jarring to me. I actually think it would be cooler for the menu to kind of fade in the top. It also drops when you, you know, scroll down. It kind of fades out. But things I like so far is I love the heavy visuals, especially with like iconic artists. I think that's super cool. Um, I think they're like they're. I think the yeah. font, like I, 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 the font choice is like very bold. I'm actually really into it. I think it says a lot about like the personality of the publisher. Yeah. And I actually like like this design feature. There's like this red thread that goes across a lot of the text. I think it's cool because it ties together the articles and almost like the site branding in a very subtle way. So it adds a little extra character. And then in terms of like the actual body, it's just pretty much a standard news article. They have text and then they embed images. The only thing I don't love so far is Mm -hmm. there's a lot of pop-ups and like, you know, uh, modals and whatnot to subscribe. I think like, you know, and I accept cookies. It's just a lot of extra stuff that's happening behind the scenes i get all of it but at the same time it's like my biggest issue with subscribing and paying is like let me consume like let me read an article let me feel out the brand if i'm a first time user and then if i'm a return visitor i think that's when you can like you know really start to say hey now that you're coming back you know we're a you know an independent publisher it's you know getting subscriptions is really important to us and then you can make connect the dots so that's the only thing that's been a little that I don't love so far yeah. is the, uh, you know, all of the additional motion and overlays kind of popping up as I'm going through this. Anything else you've noticed? Yeah. I mean, the, I mean, I'm guessing that's uh, Helvetica because of the symmetric, the symmetry of the, the, the type of the logo. I mean, to be honest, it just looks like a very generic magazine. Like if you imagine what is a magazine? Uh, this would probably be what you come up with. Um, so you see, you don't see, you don't see. Yeah, very impressed. I mean, I, again, uh, I mean, it, it it looks like it's borrowing heavily from right. like, print design, like in terms of like typography and whatnot. Um, yeah, I mean, it's you know, again, I, would I say it's the most amazing website? Not really. I, it, it's the the visuals the images are basically doing all the heavy lifting like even the um mm-hmm. that's marvin Gaye, right like the so when if you go to the awards site the most of most of the the screenshot is a picture of marvin Gaye. so it's i think i hope that's marvin Gaye. um so you just uh yeah no it's um yeah i'm not that i 
I wouldn't think it's like the most amazing piece of design. It's like it's, it's basically the magazine online. <laughs> Sorry, I'm being without trying to be too negative, but um, and by the way, I'd like to pre the, the preempt that my own personal site is. Yeah, that's always what right happens, now. right? When designers are critiquing, <laughs> I other, just want to keep like, design like sites, and I think like you know, listen, like if you're on this website and you're scoring seven out of ten, you're in the top five percent of web design out there. So we're kind of in, in my eyes, we're really yes, reviewing we the best of the best in terms of websites, just to kind of set the expectation here. If you look at the web across the board, yeah. If you're shown on awards, in my opinion, you're definitely in the top echelon in terms of web design.